Shepherd dogs, Rottweilers, Labradors, and Poodles are common dog breeds that we all know about. However, there are rare and unique breeds that you may not be aware of. Some of these breeds are endangered British dogs or dogs that were walked by the Aztecs themselves. If you are interested in learning about these lesser known breeds, you will enjoy watching a video that showcases them. Today, I will share information about the rarest dogs in the world that will surprise you. Let's get started. Lochin. What if a lion and a dog were to mate and have offspring? Perhaps the result would be something similar to the Lochin breed, known for their memorable appearance, small size, and aristocratic features. These dogs were highly prized by the nobility in the past and were often seen at social events and even captured in portraits. Despite being rare, Luchins are still in demand among socialites who enjoy attending events. However, the breed's numbers have dwindled over time. In the late 19th century, they were nearly extinct and were even listed in the Guinness Book of Records as the rarest breed in the mid-20th century. Even today, fewer than 100 Luchins are born each year worldwide, making them difficult to breed normally. Nevertheless, Luchins remain a beloved and sought-after breed. Otterhound Otterhounds are much like their distant Norwegian counterparts. Like the Norwegian Lundehunds, Otterhounds have always been regarded as tough hunters. However, they didn't catch Atlantic puffins but otters. The difference between them is that the situation with otter hounds is even worse. There are only about a thousand of them left in the world, so their breed is considered endangered. The otter hound was bred in Britain in the 19th century, and with their strong sense of smell, otter hounds aided and abetted humans by catching otters. In this way, otter hounds protected the fishing industry because otters are predatory creatures that are very fond of fish. Everything was well until 1978 when England passed a law banning otter hunting. As it happened with the Norwegian Lundhans, otter hounds were no longer needed and their population declined dramatically. Norwegian Lundhund The Norwegian Lundhund is a fascinating and unique breed of dog that has a rich history and heritage. Originating from the Lofoten Islands in Norway, these dogs are considered to be one of the rarest and oldest breeds in the world. The breed's unique set of physical and behavioral traits made them highly valued by ancient Scandinavians and Vikings, and they were often used for a variety of tasks, including catching Atlantic puffins on steep cliffs. This is where the breed's name comes from, as it is translated as hunter of puffins. Despite their once common status in Scandinavia, the Norwegian Lundhund population began to decline over time due to the decrease in bird hunting. Unfortunately, this decline has led to a significant reduction in the breed's population, with only a few thousand remaining in the world today. However, dedicated breeders are working tirelessly to save the Norwegian Lundhund and preserve its unique characteristics for future generations to appreciate. Solweitzkuntel the name of the following dog breed is a mouthful, so it's a good thing it has another name. Solo, because the full name is a jawbreaker. Perhaps some of you have already guessed from the name that these dogs are of Aztec origin, and not only them. The Aztec Empire existed in the 14th to 16th century AD, while Solos were running around Latin America long before that. It's believed that the breed appeared in what is now Mexico around 5000 BC. Thus, the Taxolo is one of the oldest breeds in the world, and many scientists are certain that these Mexicans are the most ancient. They were once considered guides to the netherworld, and some people believe they could cure diseases in one night. Nowadays, Solos are treated like real jewels. Not only are they still old-timers, but they're also very rare dogs. It's a great fortune to encounter at Solo. Thai Ridgeback the Thai Ridgeback is a dog breed that is considered to be one of the oldest on earth by sinologists. It is the national breed of Thailand and highly valued in the country. However, scientists are still uncertain about their exact origin and when they first appeared. Thai Ridgebacks are more common in Southeast Asia, but outside of the region, they are extremely rare, with only about a thousand of them found outside of their native countries. The breed was only introduced to the U.S. in 1994, making it a relatively recent arrival in the country. Despite being rare, 
Tai Ridgebacks make great pets. They are independent, easy to handle in everyday life, good protectors, and loyal companions. Moody. Once again, we have the ancient dogs, the prototypes of the Hungarian Moody breed, dating back to the Middle Ages when Moody-like dogs grazed herds. At the time, the Moody was quite a popular breed in Hungary, where they were valued for a wide range of qualities. Moody's are excellent guards, companion dogs, rescue dogs, and most importantly, excellent pets. Hungarians are proud of the Moody, but outside Hungary, the Moody is a little-known dog. Like the Thai Ridgeback, it's a local breed, which is extremely rare outside its homeland. And that's a pity because the Moody is a very beautiful and unusual dog that, among other things, can boast a memorable appearance. When talking about rare dogs, we shouldn't think only about breeds. Even individual dogs can be considered rare and unique due to their qualities and peculiarities. For example, what about a dog that was over 2 meters tall? Isn't it rare? Or what about a dog worth $2 million? They're extremely rare too. It's worth finding out about them. Stay tuned because there's more to come. The biggest dog. What's the maximum size you envision for a pet dog? If it's hard to picture, just look at Zeus to get an idea. Zeus was recognized as the largest domestic dog globally, holding the record for the Great Dane breed an achievement officially documented in the Guinness Book of World Records on October 4, 2011. Photos alone reveal Zeus's immense size, but the statistics are truly astonishing. Standing nearly 112 centimeters tall at the shoulder and weighing 70 kilograms, Zeus towered at an incredible height of 223 centimeters on his hind legs. With such stature, Zeus could have easily dominated in basketball. Caring for Zeus was no small feat for his owners. They provided about 15 kilograms of food daily to maintain his colossal size and transported him in a truck because he simply couldn't fit in a regular Satan. Sadly, the record-setting giant passed away in 2014 at the young age of five, leaving behind a legacy of extraordinary proportions. The smallest dog in the world. This, of course, is the Chihuahua ordinary close-up photos of this dog, named Miracle Millie, do not give a complete picture of its size. But if Millie is photographed in front of different objects, it becomes clear how tiny she is. You can literally carry Millie in your jacket pocket because she's only 10 centimeters tall and weighs about half a kilo. Even as an adult, Millie is very tiny, and as a puppy, she was even smaller than a smartphone. Even though the owners love Millie, they admit that it's not easy with her when walking, she often gets lost in the low grass. By the way, Millie is interesting, not only because of her size, she's the most cloned dog in the world. Scientists from South Korea created 49 genetically identical copies of Millie to understand why she's so tiny. I understand that such rare and unique dogs are hard to find. The most expensive dog, Considering Millie's small size, her unique characteristics, and her record-breaking status, she is definitely worth a lot. However, her owners are unlikely to sell her. When it comes to dogs that are actually for sale, Tibetan Mastiffs are the most expensive breed. Even ordinary puppies of this breed come with a hefty price tag, and the record-breaking ones can cost a fortune. In 2011, a Chinese tycoon made headlines by purchasing a Tibetan Mastiff named Big Splash for a hopping one and a half million dollars. It's no surprise that these dogs are considered a symbol of luxury in China, similar to luxury sports cars and diamond watches in Western countries. Big Splash's record was later broken in 2014 when a one-year-old Tibetan Mastiff puppy was sold for two million dollars to another Chinese businessman. It wouldn't be surprising if we hear about a Tibetan Mastiff being sold for three, five, or even $10 million in the future. Let us know which breed of dog you like the most by leaving a comment below. Thank you for watching and see you later.